video, I want to work on some basic combinations or really um, responses for one-step sparring. I was talking to some uh, junior students recently and asked what would be kind of useful for them in their training, and one of the responses I got was uh, some simple kind of, you know, different ways to, to move, uh, shift your body or respond uh, when facing, you know, kicks and punches, right? So just what are some uh, simple ways we can move ourselves? So we'll do a number of uh, very simple short combinations uh, with blocking you know a specific you know punch or kick in mind and um, Kind of go from there and try to get a workout in as we go through all right, so um, From here first uh, thing we're going to do is uh, Rotating okay, so from this position uh, Pretend like your left foot is kind of rooted to the ground and we're going to rotate out of the way as we block Okay, so that's our foot position. So just from here is warming up from natural stance. No hands yet I want everyone to bend your knees. You're going to keep your left foot here. Right foot will hold in your hip. Uh, rotate back so you're in front stance facing a 45 degree angle. Right, that's our first movement, right? And then recover. All right, same idea. Left leg stays, bend the knees, hips rotate. As hips rotate, push your right foot back. Ready, knee. Back to good front stance. So make sure your weight's not back, but weight's forward. And then recover. Just using this to warm up our legs and ankles. Ready, same idea. San, bend, and then back. Okay, so you're kind of aimed at a 45 degree angle from where you started. Recover, again. Chi. Recover. Do your best not to turn and then drop as you're going backwards. Do your best to do most of your dropping right away. And then as you go back, you're already at your low position. Ready? Angle. Rope, recover. Same side each time. Rook. Recover. Teach. Recover. So trying to get a good stop to your stance with your weight forward on that front leg. Hutch. Recover. Coop. Recover. And you. And relax. Good. Check it out real quick. Okay, same thing on the other side, right? Natural stance, she's in tight. Right leg stays, knees bend. As your knees bend, you start to turn your hips toward the other corner. Use your left hip this time to pull back. Pull your front foot back. Ready? Or pull this foot back. Ready? Each bend and rotate. Knee recover. Same idea. Feet. Recover. Nice and relaxed. Just warming up. Some. Recover. Chi. Recover. And go. Hey, good. Five more your own count. Ready. Ajun. Just smooth and relaxed. Just keeping your balance. Turning from facing the screen to facing 45 degrees at the end. Check it out when you're done. Okay. Alright, just adding our hand technique to that. Alright? So as we rotate, as your hips pull back. We're going to go back to our first direction. Left hand is just going to make a jodan level, soto udeoke, crossing block. Okay? Same time as you block, or as you rotate, we'll block, half face position, make chudan yakuzuki. All right, so again, from here, bending the knees, hips pull back. Same time. I would extend your hikite hand out, your retraction hand, pulling hand out, so it's ready to balance your body and protect yourself, be in the way. I don't care too much where your hand starts. I don't really want to just come up here because you can miss if somebody's following you. You want to make sure, whether it's here or here, that you're blocking enough range of motion that you wouldn't just block someone here where I was standing, but if I move this way and somebody tracks me here, if over here, you would also catch a punch that's following. Relax. All right. One count. Bend the knees. Block. Yakuzuki. Ready? Each. Block. Punch. And knee. Recover. Ready? Same idea. Same leg. Song. Recover. Again. Chi. Work on that balance. Here, everything is stopped. Rotate in. Everything is stopped. Good balance the whole time. Ready? Go. Each. Touch. More. 
Good. And you relax. Okay? Same idea. Just five more your own count. No power, no speed. I just want you to go through, get some repetitions in as we're warming up. Five times, same thing. Jaw on blocking and shoot on punching. Ready? Five times. Hydra. Relax each time. When you're done, just shake it out. Okay, same idea, other side. We'll come back to this one as we get warmer, do some more speed. All right, so now rotating other direction. Remember, feeling right now, I want you to think of one step sparring, Ippon Kumite. Something's driving in at you. Okay, so we're thinking probably the Shotokan technique, not maybe a, you know, punch coming in from the side, which, you know, sometimes you want to think about and what would your defense be, but for now, thinking about helping against something that's coming straight in, right? Maybe from the angle, but actually it could sneak around. It's coming this way, we probably wouldn't want to rotate this way, right? So thinking about something coming straight at you here. So the person will end up kind of in front of your knee, hopefully, all right? Ready? First count, left foot moves, right hand blocks. Each, and then Gyakazuki knee. Recover. Same idea, so you're always making a path. Where if, they would, if I just go back and the person bowls me over, then I'm in trouble in the second one. So here, if they just are flying in at you, hopefully they'll go past you, right? Again, knee, recover, again, song, recover, chi, recover, good hip, good hip rotation each time, half face to full face, go. Cover, one more. There we go. Cover. Okay, five more your own count. Block, punch, all at the same time. Ready? Hajj. Nice and relaxed. Good smooth motion. Right, not too much tension. Relax when you're done, check it out. All right, back to our first side. A little bit of speed and power as you move. Go as fast as you can right to that edge of throwing yourself off balance, okay? If you're always, um, if you're, if you're never really test yourself that way, you might not know how fast you can go or you might not see where that line is where your form breaks down. Form breaking down is okay as long as you know how to control it, all right? Just in tight, okay? On my count, back to the first side. So, left foot front, right foot steps back. Join on uh, blocking, shoot on punching. Ready? Good speed and power. Each. Knee recover. Knee. Recover. Top. Use your hips to control your legs. Keep your spine straight. Top. Chi. Again. Go. Five more. Rook. A. Relax. Sitch. Hatch. Relax as soon as you're done. Q. One more. Two, A, and check it out. Hold this up. Okay, so the most important part of this is really your footwork, your stepping, practicing, and for any color belts, junior students, you're practicing getting the heck out of the way. Um, it's a really important <laughs> skill to have to understand that when you see something coming at you, you're not just going to block it by throwing an arm in the way. You have to pair your block with your body moving in some way. You don't want to stay where you are and just, well, I'm going to block that thing coming at me, especially if it's a leg. Um, you want to get out of it. All right. Just in tight. All right. So this time again, moving right side, punching left helm. Ready? 
By the count, good speed and power. Ready, page. And you recover. Knee. Recover, work on that balance, keep your back straight. Don't go this way, and then straighten your back. Ready, Tom. Relax. Chi. Relax. Go. Relax. Brooke. Relax as soon as you're done. Teach. Relax. Hutch. Two more. Coo. Relax. One more. And you. And relax. I shake it out. So we're going to do a few more. Uh, we're just actually going to change our counterattack. Okay, so this is actually really to test your balance in any time you're moving kind of an angle or sitting back in front stance, okay? Same block, but I want you to now make your counterattack my again. To be able to shift back and step forward or whatever it is, to go back and step forward or back and kick really requires you to be more set in your stance. This is just a harder counterattack. It's part of why we all do yakazuki all the time. It's easier. Or the my my instructor yells, yells at us all the time, like, to the class, why are you all doing yakazuki? Why this? And so we're always trying to do, practice different counterattacks because it's kind of challenging yourself uh, during training. All right, so back to uh, first side. I'm going to go this direction and block. Same front stance. Make sure your weight isn't here but is on top of that front foot so that you don't have to shift forward to kick. You're here already, and you can just kick and bring your foot back. All right, so one, two. I'm gonna count two counts first, all right? Just the block. Right leg moves, left arm blocks. Ready? Just the block. Each, hold. So you wanna see you're in a good position. Now second count, hands relax. My good shoot up. Knee, and recover. Same thing, same two counts, ready? Each, you don't need to go full speed, but I want you to make sure here, you're set low in your stance, good balance. And my good shoot on, knee, cover, same idea, ready? Song, chi, recover. Roll, roll, recover. Teach. Arch. Recover. Ku. Ju. Recover. All right. Next five, same thing, but all one count. So slow and relaxed. Okay, five times slow, relaxed. Lock, kick, all one count. Here we go. Each. And recover when you're done. Again. Knee. Cover. Stomp. Cover. Squeeze your arms just for a split second as you block. Uh, stomp. Again. Chi. Mm, so I'm feeling I'm not really getting low in my stance. I want to try to get a little lower or more. Go. All right. Maybe too low. Feel better. All right. Five more. A little bit of speed. Okay. A little quickness. So, main thing is that first front stance. Set yourself in your stance with good balance so you make the kick. Ready? Hitch. And recover when you're done. Knee. Complete the block first. If there's no block, you don't get a chance to count. Stop. Relax. Chi. One more. Go. Shake it out. Okay. Other side. Same thing. Starting off two counts. Stand tight. Left foot back. Right arm blocking. 
Just one count. One count, just the block. Ready? Each. Good form, good posture, good balance. And now, hands come down as you get. Knee. Recover. Same idea. Sam. Chi. You make sure your eyes and your head are looking directly where you're attacking. Recover. Goal. I'm sorry. And rook. I got too excited there. Recover. Siege. Good block, good stance. Ah. You're trying to have your weight here. It's hard to, to decide to kick if your weight's right in the middle. If your weight's already forward, it's going to be easier to kick. All right, two more. Ach. Goo. Give you one more time. Yeah, I'm giving you an extra one. That's okay. Each. Me. And relax. Okay, five more. Uh, same power and speed, but all one count. Block. Kick. All together, nice and relaxed. Ready? H. So keep your hands in front of you. As you relax, your hands should still be, right, this is in front. As you kick, maybe change. Back here, but relaxed arms. No tension. Knee. Recover when you're done. Sa. Cover. Chi. Cover one more time slow. Go. And relax. Okay, five more. On my count, a little bit of speed. Ready? Pitch. And relax. Make the next one's better. Knee. Some simple ways to block, simple counters. Again, you should be adding in other counterattacks you need to work on, but that to me are a simple way to think about it. Get out of the way, go back in, and the kicks are always good, not just for more distance, but they're testing your balance. It's easy to go here and then throw this if you're off balance. You can't really kick off balance. So, kicks are a good way to test your form. Okay, our next uh, block. And footwork is going to be a, a shift instead of a foot rotation. Okay, so again, we're trying to get out of the way. If we're in a hallway, a hallway as wide as you are, when I'm doing one step or anytime fighting, really, I, I kind of want to get out of this hallway. I don't really want to fight from here too much if I can avoid it. So one step is a good way to practice that, make it an instinct for you to move and move uh, at angles. Okay, so if I'm in this hallway, we're going to bend our knees. The last time we got out of it this way, right? Through the hallway. This time we're going to get out of that hallway, bending our knees, and we're going to shift. And it's almost like one foot replaces the other. This foot's going to end up there as I shift out of the way. All right, trying to have a strong front knee. It's bent, so if anyone hits it, it's just going to hurt them. And it's a path through. So our footwork, which we'll do first, no hands yet, is going to be bending the knees. We're going to push with our left leg. Our right foot just picks up off the ground. Just a paper width. As it picks up, that left leg is going to push your body. We learn this, we teach this to orange belts. Hand sign up. Pick this up and then shift. Right? Here, same idea. This leg picks up, same time, shift. Okay? So from here, natural stance. As you go, first feeling is bending down and then to the side. Ready? So let's go to our Back behind our right foot, left leg is going to push, end up front stance, facing that same 45 degree angle. Ready? H. And knee, recover. Same idea, same leg. Ready? Sam, bend, and then push off the left knee. Recover, reclaim the ground that you 
Uh, move drop. Ready? San. Fan. And push. Recover. Just your legs for now. Chi. Fan. And push. Oh. And go. Relax. Good. All right. Five more. Your own count. No rush. Five times your own count. Shifting to the side. Ready? Begin. So you're still trying to stop pretty much together. That one I kind of caught the ground a little bit, right? But trying to stop at one time so you're ready to move. Get it out again, different direction, or right, moving in. Okay, relax when you're done your five. My right, trailer side. Other leg now. She's in tight. So now, bend the knees. Right leg is going to push. After it pushes, it has to pull, right? So this leg, push. After you've pushed your body out of the way, you have to pull that foot to get it here. So it's gonna push then pull, push then pull. This leg's gonna push and then it's gotta pull to get it. It doesn't get here easily. It's not like, don't drag it. You're gonna pull it with you. Ready? Stand tight. Reach down and shift. Knee recover. So, and she recover. Go. Recover. Teach. Touch. Good. And you. Okay. At five more, your own count. Five shifts, same direction. Not going sideways. Back to the 45 degree angle. Ready? Aja. Keep your back straight the whole time. Eyes and hands. Just to be aware and ready at the direction you're shifting away from. Just relaxed. Just practicing good form. Now maybe when you're finished, just shake out your legs. Okay, so now we're just going to pair this idea of moving away with uh, blocking technique. Okay, so we're just going to make Gidon but I think one of the more uh, versatile blocks that, that we have so now the same time that I move this way, I'm gonna push a attack away from me. Sometimes, every once in a while, I'll see people pull, beginning students, pull the attack the way they're going. I'll go this way, and then they'll like do inside block, they'll pull the attack where they're going. Or, it doesn't look like real bad, but they'll go this way, and they'll make rising block, which from the angle of the arm, it's, it's kind of like pulling the attack toward the way you're going. Never wanna do that. If I'm going this way, I want you to go the other way. So, if we're shifting with our right leg, left leg pushes, going this way, I want to get on but I with my left arm. Right front leg get on but I. So I'm gonna bend my knees, just watching me first. Left arm comes up, right arm covers. As I push, I make get on but I. All right, I'm blocking this way, moving this way. I'll watch one more time. One, two. So that timing is the block finishing about the same time you're settling into your stance. All right, ready? Slowly, first count, bend the knees, left hand up, each. Second count, push off that left leg, block, knee. Good, third count, let's make the opposite of the Sam. And recover. Good, same idea. First count, set up, each. Nice and low, as low as you can get before your heels come off the ground. All right, now push back to the corner, knee. Half face, shoulders also not here, shoulders back. Rotate, Sam. And recover. Same idea, one more time. Each, now push, knee. Half face, so here, make sure you pull back. Sam. And recover, one more time by the count. Right, bend the knees, each. Push and block, knee. Piyakazuki, Sam. Very good, relax. All right, slowly all on count, block. Jodan, Yakuzuki, ready? Each. Nice and relaxed. Go through all those positions. Yame when you're finished. Right back to the start. Ready? Knee. Recover. Don't shift too soon. I'm waiting to get to this position so that my hands and my legs all then explode out at the same time. Ready? Sang. Recover. This is important. If someone's really fast, this could be your block. It has to be. 
this, especially if I'm going to be rotating, we'll do that actually a little later, um, this feeling. So don't just think here, this, maybe this is blocking Jodan, this is covering early, if someone's really quick. So you're always practicing multiple things. One, one, two. All right, ready? Chi. Relax. One more time. Go. Okay. All right, same idea, same direction. Now go to 75% speed and power. Ready? H. You haven't talked about breath yet, but think about breathing out. It's all one breath. So it's not, not, not many small breaths. Right, one breath for both techniques. Ready? Knee. Cover. Song. Don't forget, try to get out of that hallway. I might be getting lazy. I'm not sure, but get out of that hallway. Bring that foot. Has to come over at least as far as your right foot. Two more. Chi. Relax. One more. Go. And relax. Okay. Similar idea. I just want to change while we're here. I want to change to kick it. Okay? So still at 75% speed and power, not max. Block. Might get a chew up. One, two. Okay? Do your best. Lock, and again, make sure that foot coming over to replace the other one, and then again on the 45 degree angle, my issue. Ready? All one count. Each. All right, so you'll feel a little different. All right, work on that balance. Set your stance first. B. So I don't need full speed, just enough to get it correct. Song. Recover. Chi. Recover. And go. Recover. Very good. All right. Five more your own count. Lock. Kick. All right. Try. Here we go. Ready? Schmidt. Hands come up once you start your kick. Make sure that first shift is big enough. Let's move one foot over. Mm, flip it around too much. One more. Back up one more. And y'all may relax. See that. Okay, other side. So other direction. Left foot moves, right foot shifts, push and pull with that right foot. Right hand blocks. All right? Let's get our timing first. Just in tight. First count. Bend the knees, right hand up. Each. Now, shift, block, same time. Knee. You have to do it on some. Yummy. One more time. Ready? Each. Bend the knees. Right hand comes up high. Now push and block. Knee. And then some. Achieve, recover. Again. Each. Knee. Half face. So not just here. All the way back. Some. Chi. And roll. Rook. Teach. Touch. All right. Slowly all on count. No rush. Block. Punch. Make sure. Bend the knees and shift. Ready? Each. And knee. Good. Back straight. Rotate around your spine. Good posture. B. Recover. Sang. Recover. Chi. Recover. Go. And recover. Okay. Next five, a little bit faster. Just 75% speed and power. Don't go 100 yet. Ready? One count. Block punch. H. Recover. Knees. Recover. So. 
cover. Cheap. <coughs> cover. Four. <coughs> and relax. Okay, so now your tougher test. Now we're gonna make my getty for your counterattack. On my count. All right, five more. Now block. My getty chew. All right, good front stance. On my count, still just 75% speed and power. Eight. H. Let's work on that balance. Keep that front knee low. Recover. Again. Knee. Recover. Good shift on that block. Some. She. So I feel myself not pulling as much as I want to. So make sure you're not just rushing through it and barely moving this foot. I right, try to shift across a full shoulder width. All right, two more. Sa. G, one more. Bowl. And look. Okay. Five more, your own count. Natural stance, isn't that? Five times, your own count, your best speed without falling over. Ready? Make sure you make full movement. Don't make it short. Ready? As you're mm. I feel myself shortening a little bit. That's better. My bounce off. Gotta keep my weight on my front leg more. Tell me when you're done. Okay. And just shake it out. Okay, so those first two are thinking about defending against jodan punching and chudan punching, kind of from a you know one step uh, position or feeling. If you want to mix it up, right here, Haito Uchi, it's a great counterattack. One, two is fine. Same thing, get on but I. A little, maybe a little bit harder from here. Might not might need to get over the shoulder in some way. All right? So again, different counterattack. Don't forget from here, you might need to adjust your stepping. But for practicing I have a feeling, you can pull the foot back, or depending on what you've done, if you had the hold of that arm, stepping in uh, Uruken. Gonna depend on you, your partner, where you are. But if you don't want to do Yakazuki all the time, think about right block and then quickly shifting your feet. Block. You can kind of holding on, maybe doing Oizuki. Anytime if you can make the kick, you can maybe make side kick or mawashi. Or again, if you're here, depending on what's in the way, maybe Haituuchi. A lot of things can get in the way of Haituuchi, but um, depending on where you are, that could work. So just try out something different. I gave you Yakazuki. I gave you front kick. It's the most common techniques that we usually train with. That can be good, but make sure you mix in other counter attacks. All right, two more to go. All right, so now we're thinking about blocking um, kicks in different ways. Okay, so first we're back to a rotation. Same rotation we did, right? You see some themes here. So this is, we're, with this motion, we're gonna make what we call Gyaku Geranbarai, reverse Geranbarai. This is my favorite. This is all time free sparring. Someone comes in really quick and I'm not, I don't react till the kick's about to hit me. It still works. Just, whoop, just to drop that hand, push it over. My back leg rotates out of the way. So I use this all the time, um, blocking kicks. So from Shizentai, this will be the position. It looks small. You have to make it strong. Like the, if you haven't gotten to the tekikatas, that's okay. But the feeling tekikatas, you gotta make it strong. You're not moving a lot, but it has to be strong. So same idea. This isn't gonna block a kick. You have to have strength. You have to really use your body. Squeeze also your arm, wrist, elbow, shoulder joint. You have to make them tight. Sometimes I do this lazily, and it almost like hypersends my elbow. I'm like, oh, it's a reminder. Even if someone looks smaller than me, their legs are big. So when you make this, not stiff, but you have to be thinking of protecting your arm. 
push this way so it doesn't <laughs> bend the wrong way, right? All right, bend the knees. Like these are here, you're forcing people to kick you between your arms. Like this is the best spot and then you're just taking it away, pushing with the thumb side of your wrist, pushing across, okay? So from here, bend. Just from here, just over. You don't need to go like this. It takes more time and it opens you up. No, no, from here. Yes, just over, right? All right, uh, it's gonna do it without hurting myself, right? So, so just from here, this is feeling. You're trying, so it's not like, this isn't gonna block. So it's your wrist, and just from here, you have to um, squeeze over, okay? Um, we've had this in different contexts, different ways, but every time you've ever made get on but on in your life, if you've done it right, you've done this. You've done this. So it's this, this, this is what you're doing. So you've been training it for years, hopefully, right? But now you're using it in a different way. Now let's try. Uh, she's in tight. So right leg back, left leg in front, facing the 45 degree angle. Left arm, yaku, or just reverse, skate on, but on. Pushing with the hip, with the hip. Same direction, ready? Slow, each, very good. And yakuzuki, joran or chuda, knee, and recover. All right, same two counts. Each, bend the knees, hips across. Knee, recover. Sang, chi, recover. Go, rook, recover. Teach, hatch, recover. Q, chi, recover. Okay, all one count. Block punch, wherever your hands are, keep this hand about here, and your hips, your, your core squeezing, are what are going to push it uh, across. You ready? Reach. And recover. Same thing. Knee. Recover. So. Recover. Chi. Recover. Go. And recover. Okay. Next five, a little bit more power and speed, okay? Your choice, drawn or chewed on punching, you can mix it up. A little faster, resist the temptation to, to swing wide and then block. Just from here, ready? Pitch! The recover, use that hip to push your foot back. All right, all from the hip. Hip will push the foot back and start um, your block. Knee, cover, so, cover, chi, cover, go, hey, and yummy, and relax. Next five. Uh, slow, relax, my yin. Kick, good balance. All right, so from here, just to get down, half power, half speed. Ready? Same block, same arm. My yin for counterattack. Each. Recover. Again, this is all to test your balance at the end of that stance. V. And then after the kick as well. Chi recover. Chi. Relax, one more. Go. Recover. Okay. Next five on my count. Now a little bit faster. Okay. Don't go so fast you throw yourself way off balance, but push yourself so it's not easy. All right. Ready? Same thing. 
Hey! Make sure squeeze when you make that block. Squeeze at that point of imaginary contact. Ready? Song! Cheap! Go! And shake it out. Okay, other side. So, same rotation, just this way. We did this before. Now, shoulders, hips, arm together. Just from this side of your body to this side. I don't have to block out here. All right, opens me up, takes me longer to get back. Just across to this edge of your body. All right, ready? One count, just the block. Itch, so right leg forward, right arm blocking, the thumb side, your wrist, right here, thumb side of your wrist, making contact. And now, Yakazuki, knee, Jordan or Chudan, your choice. Now I may recover. Same thing, ready? Itch, good, good posture, good balance. Knee, Sound. recover. Sheet. Oh. Cover. Broke. Teach. Ah, right, one more time. Goo. Jew. And yeah. Okay. One one count. Block punch. Ready? Teach. And you recover. Again, work on that breath. All one breath out, not two breaths. Ready? Knee. Recover. Side. Recover. Cheap. Recover. Whoa. Recover. Hutch. Recover. Go. One more. Two. Hey. Yummy. Okay. Same thing now. Add and kick. We're changing the kick. Block my game. Okay. Just in tight. Not full speed, about half power, half speed. All right, block my giddy chin up. All right, ready? Here we go. Each block, back straight, eyes forward, and then finished. Relax, ready? B, block, kick. Keep that weight and balance on that front knee. Ready? Sound. Cheat. More. Go. Ah, the worst one. All right. Five more. A little bit of speed and power. Okay. Just enough so you are challenged. You're almost falling off balance. Ready? Five more. Pitch. Recover. So the last technique, we're not going to train right now, but when you're on, I hope you will. Um, same block we did before. We were thinking for, uh, you know, shoot on punching. Same block works well for my giddy or side thrust get coming in. All right? So same idea. This block, shifting out of the way is really important 
in case someone's really driving through. Blocking countering if they're far away, because maybe your shift is back this way, maybe a big shift, then you can reach with the kick. But just don't, just don't forget, this one we blocked, we practiced before, good for a punch or a kick. You might just need to adjust. Do you make a big shift? Or is your shift at like a small angle and a bigger angle? So the angle and how far you push will give you more space or less space. All right, but um, so that second block we practiced, also good if you want to practice for kicks. All right, so that's it. So uh, if you are, again, somewhat new to one-step sparring, not really sure what to do with your feet, how to shift, how to get out of the way, uh, consider these, uh, adding these to your practice regimen, practice them when you're doing one step, before training, after training, just to give yourself that comfort with rotating and shifting. Because I promise you, once you are doing, doing semi-free, free sparring, all the time, I'm gonna block this way for a kick, all the time. Um, and again, something, someone, or someone comes in kicking or punching, whoop, I'm gonna to wanna to shift this way. So the ability to shift at an angle or rotate at an angle um, will, will definitely, I think, come up again, just because that's what I do. Um, so that's it. Thanks for training with me. Uh, we're finished. So much. Great. All right, we're done. Again, thanks for training with me, and uh, good luck in your training.